equilibrium was where your money demand intersects your fixed money supply. And we get the equilibrium interest rate determined in the process. We call that I0 to start off with. We now want to derive our LM schedule. And to do so, please put the two set of axes alongside each other, not the one underneath the other as you would when you derive the IS curve. And that's because here we've got the same thing on the vertical axis. We've got the interest rate. So we want to see what happens if your um, income level rises. So we found this first point. We found that at interest rate I0, we start off with um, income being Y0. So at, at an income level, it's fixed along your money demand curve. At an income level of Y0, the interest rate is I0. So we've got a first point, E0, for our LM curve. Now we want to look at what happens if income were to increase. And we know that that will cause the money demand curve to shift to the right, because income's risen. So we can plot that and show it shifting to the right, and we get a new liquidity demand curve at an income level Y1. So income's risen, and in the process, we get a new equilibrium at a higher rate of interest, I1. And we can therefore trace that across. So we see that at an interest rate of I1, we have a higher level of income, Y1. So we can plot that point, higher level of interest, I1, we get high level of income. Whereas before, at an interest rate of I0, it was associated with income level Y0. So we've got two points, and we can join those together, and we get an upward sloping LM curve. What does that show you? Combinations of the interest rates and income that clear the money market, or that are associated with equilibrium in the money market.